Hello, my name is Marion Hughes, and I'm the Program Director of the UPMC Diagnostic Radiology Residency. During your time in medical school, many of you had the experience of taking care of a challenging patient where no one knew what was wrong with the patient until the patient went to radiology. Everything became clear once the radiologist was consulted. Our goal is to train you to become that go-to person. Our expectation at UPMC is clinical excellence, and our residents rise to this bar consistently. How we do this at UPMC is by focusing on four areas. First, learning to interpret the studies well and perform the procedures well. We also help you find your academic passion. We give you graded responsibilities and trust you to fulfill them. We do this all while focusing on resident wellness. At the core of diagnostic radiology training is learning to read the studies well and eventually efficiently. UPMC is a high volume, high complexity program where residents get to see and do a ton, working shoulder to shoulder with subspecialized faculty committed to resident education. Responsibility is given to residents gradually but consistently. You can get very, very good here given the complexity of the patients you will see and the quality of the teaching. The attendings are highly subspecialized and it shows in the performance of our trainees, whether it be on call, on national standardized exams, or at national meetings. Time after time, our residents have done well in national meeting interpretation competitions, even winning this last year's RSNA Imaging Interpretation Contest. We also have great procedural training in all areas of radiology. Equally important to the hands-on, shoulder-to-shoulder training in the reading room is a foundation of didactics and experiences outside of the reading room. We offer a lot, including scheduled daily noon didactic conferences and morning case conferences. For example, you will typically have two hours of conference teaching per day. Most of the didactics will be in the core areas of radiology, but we also have a business of radiology lecture series, a dedicated research symposium, lectures on financial literacy, and discussions of work-life balance. An incomparable learning opportunity at UPMC is the preservation of independent call. Independent night float call begins in your R2 year, where junior residents are paired with a senior resident. Independent call builds confidence in your ability to tackle any patient scenario. Our residents also participate in multiple simulation courses to learn how to use catheters in IR, perform ultrasound guided biopsies, or treat contrast reactions. I remember struggling with managing contrast reactions during my own residency. So the first time you'll give epinephrine for an anaphylactic contrast reaction, it will be at the University of Pittsburgh Weiser Simulation Center. It is much easier to have these high stakes experiences and learn these skills in a low risk simulation setting with state of the art mannequins. Collaboration in developing professional relationships is essential in the field of radiology. Here, you will build close relationships with the clinical services including an ICU rotation where you function as an imaging consultant for the services. You will also participate in several multidisciplinary conferences with our referring colleagues, and the residents really benefit from the strong relationship radiology has with our clinical colleagues. For example, in my area of subspecialization, head and neck imaging, my reading room is embedded in their outpatient clinic, which brings me into the clinical arena and fosters one-on-one -on -one dialogue. Personally, this has made me a much better radiologist. There are tons of opportunities for you to find your academic passion. We have many residents actively involved in research and grant writing, publishing manuscripts, and presenting at national meetings. Several trainees work in our artificial intelligence research group or in the radiology-run 3D printing lab. There are also several long-standing peer-to-peer teaching opportunities within the residency itself, with residents giving select conferences, teaching in the simulation programs, and involved in teaching at the medical school. We have about a dozen residents teaching in electives and in the anatomy lab at the University of Pittsburgh Medical School this year. We have even had residents work with Rad8 International, a nonprofit organization working to increase and improve radiology in the developing world. 
If you have a career interest, you will find support and mentorship in this area at UPMC. We also believe in giving our residents responsibility and then trusting them. To quote Billie Jean King, a groundbreaking women's tennis champion, pressure is a privilege, and we believe in both our training program and our residents. Our preservation of independent call speaks to this. As a program director, I can say without hesitation that the greatest growth I see in our residents comes during this time. Despite being at the forefront, the residents always have subspecialty attending backup should the need arise. The final cornerstone of our program is resident well-being. We have high but obtainable expectations for our residents. It is challenging and transformative, but always in a really supported way. Residents have assigned faculty mentors and resident buddies. We have a wellness committee that plans fun activities for outside of work and they have access to the UPMC institutional wellness programs. But more importantly, I think, is that there is a culture here of friendship and support. Our residents form lifelong bonds with their co-residents. They rely on each other, and they celebrate each other's successes. As program director, I'm excited that you are considering UPMC radiology. We have a truly terrific and complete program. Our graduates do incredibly well, and secure excellent fellowships. Many become leaders in our profession. Our program is very committed to training our residents to become the radiologist other doctors rely on to diagnose and treat the challenging patients. Thank you.